Do Not Wish for a Christmas Elf by Serena Siebenler and illustrated by Gabby Correa. Twas two weeks before Christmas, the shops were jam-packed. We had just arrived home, and our gifts were all stacked. Mom and Dad were exhausted, to my great surprise, they reclined as they rested their feet and their eyes. But then, all of a sudden, we heard the phone buzz. You would never have guessed who the phone caller was. Ho ho hi, ho ho hi. The voice sounded uneasy. It's Santa, I gulped. I felt anxious and queasy. I have a big favor to ask you, dear cat. Do you mind if we have a short pre-Christmas chat? I'm in need of your help and your parents' approval. He said and then paused for a slurp of his noodle. The North Pole is more hectic than ever before, with a hundred new elves all lined up by my door. We are gearing them up for the elf mighty test, to ensure that they're ready to take on my quest. But one elf, her name is Jangles, is not quite prepared, so I really need help, Santa quickly declared. Jangles needs to be trained, though timing is tight. But I know with your help, she can get it all right. Yes, I'll do it. I beamed. I feel honored you'd ask. I will give it my all, to fulfill your big task. Shortly after our call, I went into my room, and then, Jangles appeared, just like lightning. Kaboom! In a hodgepodge of patterns, she had her own style. With her twinkling blue eyes and cheery white smile. Welcome Jangles, I said, trying not to sound nervous. I think that you're here for my elf training service. Yes, I'm ready. She cheered. I'm excited to learn. I'll be ready to elf when it's time to return. We began in the kitchen with holiday treats. But the flower went flying on mom's folded sheets. So, we started again and then mixed the wet batter. But a few seconds later, there was a huge splatter. Oh Jangles, I panicked. Let's try to do better. But Jangles just shrugged as she wiped off her sweater. Then we cleaned it all up and began our new goal, to build two giant snowmen and gain some control. So, I rolled and I padded large balls made of snow, for the jolliest, friendliest, snow sculpture show. But then, when I looked up, my grin turned to a frown. Jangle's snowman was made, but was flipped upside down. Come on, Jangles, I pleaded. Let's try this once more. As her eyes gave a twinkle, she shrugged like before. Then we heard my mom call, Daddy picked up the tree. We both rushed back inside, so excited to see. Tons of ornaments, lights, and bright tinsel galore were all sitting in totes on our living room floor. Mom then made us hot cocoa with candy cane sticks, as my dad danced around and he showed off his tricks. We should start with the lights. I'm excited, aren't you? I am sure am, Jangles cheered. She then added, Yahoo so, I followed behind her. She's got this, I thought. But before I could blink, we were tied in a knot. Then I tried to stand up, but without any luck. The tree toppled right over, and then we were stuck. As my parents pitched in to untangle the mess, I felt bad that my efforts were not a success. I'm so sorry, sweet Jangles. I gave it my best. Now I'm worried you'll be unprepared for your test. Jangles climbed to my chest, and she gave me a hug. Then she looked at me sweetly and winked with a shrug. Cat, you gave with your heart, and to me, that's a win. You did such a great job. 
Now, you lift up that chin. This has been so much fun. She said, waving goodbye, with that cheery white grin and her twinkle lit eye. Then as fast as she'd come, in a flash, she was gone, and I drifted to sleep with a sad little yawn. But the very next morning, I woke up to see, a huge platter of treats and a letter for me. Dear cat, I'm incredibly grateful you helped me with jangles. She had a great time with your tree lights in tangles. You see, all along, she was meant just for you. Jangles brought you some fun and some memories too. For Christmas is spirit, the joy we all need. And your patience and caring were thoughtful, indeed. We're not meant to be perfect. What life's all about, is the magic we offer and not our self-doubt. But before I head out, there's one thing you should know, I'll be back really soon, ho ho ho. Holiday cheers, Santa Claus. I looked up at my parents and said with a smile. Jangles did make it fun in her own quirky style. Now, I do have a wish. Something kooky and cool. A T-Rex would be great. I could take him to school. The end. If you would like to purchase this story about cat, please see the link in the description below. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel to be notified of new story releases.